Hi, I'm Jonathan Quinn. I'm talking to you today about Bullying Tech Limited. Bullying Tech Limited is a technology that uses chemicals to recover base metals and precious metals from waste. Um, a nice simple way of starting off talking about this process is we're on the University of Chester. This is where we have an office and we have our facilities which is a lab and a workshop. Um, very simply, our process works on using safe chemicals and also ultrasonics. Um, we also have a tumbler system. We put the x-ray film, which if you have a look at a piece of x-ray, the bit that's got the black on is actually silver. So we put the, the x-ray film into the tumbler. We then lower the tumbler into the chemicals. We rotate the tumbler within the chemicals and then that removes 100% of the silver from the x-ray film, leaving the plastic clean. We then get a silver powder, which has been removed from the x-ray film. And then we put it inside a furnace and we recover it as solid silver. So that is very, very simple way of explaining how this technology works. Now, this technology, the exact same chemicals and exact same technology, also works for printed circuit boards. So you've got a printed circuit board. And what happens is, predominantly, all the components that are on the board are kept on by solder. So what our process does is, we put the printed circuit boards into the tumbler. Now they can either be shredded up or they can be whole on a much bigger system. This is just a, a lab size. We're currently in the process of building a pilot plant size, which will do around about 200 kilograms per hour. We put it inside the, the cage. We then lower into the chemicals and then we rotate the tumbler. We put the ultrasonics on. Now, if you leave the printed circuit board in the chemical formula on its own, it takes around about seven or eight hours to dissolve the solder. Because of the ultrasonics, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes. So the main idea of this technology is we safely remove all the solder. And then what that does, it leaves the empty board as well as all the components inside the cage. What we've done then is we've removed all the components so then you can send them to whichever you want to recover more value. So. First of all, we'll talk about the chips. So the chips contain precious metals. The chips can then go off on their own to recover all the precious metals. Our chemical formula is very, very clever and very specific. We put inhibitors into the chemicals so that they don't create any fumes, any noxious gases. It just stays at a very amb ambient temperature. But what else is clever about our formula is the aluminium and the copper that goes into the formula comes out exactly the same. There's no reaction or no uh, runaway reaction with the chemical formula and the copper or the aluminium. So what is happening inside the tank? So as the ultrasonics and the chemicals are working together to dissolve the, uh, to dissolve the solder, the tin goes into the liquid. And then what we do is we super saturate that liquid and then pump the liquid to a reactor, change the pH, and then we end up with a solid tin, which can then go up across to be processed with a, with a tin smelter. So on the copper, we can granulate this down further and recover it as pure copper. So again, you're enhancing the value of your metals all the way along. Come along to the edgings, so on the on the flakes on the on the edge connectors, so we've got a before and after. So all your edge connectors, they come off completely separate. And the very clever part about this process is you're also recovering the plastics. So what's currently happening in the UK is there's only about 5% of the total material 
recycled in the UK, 95% of it is exported. The value on that exported material is about 4 billion UK pounds. Why not recover that inside the UK or also at your international location? So the main reason, what's happening at the moment is you're sending a complete board to a smelter and then they basically burn, incinerate the board down to a slag and then recover the metals. You're losing the plastic, you're not getting your value for your tin, you're not getting your full value for your copper, you're not getting your full value for your precious metals and you're not getting your full value for your al aluminium. But predominantly this technology was born to recover tin. Tin is a very, very valuable asset. Not only do we do printed circuit boards uh, and x-ray film, we also do uh, auto catalyst technology. So what's happening at the moment is you have your auto catalyst, you have your ceramic, and then you have also have your insulation. So your auto cat is around about five kilogram. Your ceramic is about one kilogram when there's only about three to 15 grams of platinum, palladium and rhodium, platinum group metals within that ceramic. So this whole thing is being shipped all around the world. Now, our process, you can wash the can and get more value from the precious metals and then sell for scrap. You get a lot higher return in yield from your precious metals on your auto catalyst ceramic material. And very interesting part about our process is the insulation material that wraps around the ceramic, we recover the precious metals from that. Also, that insulation material has a core value of about three to four thousand pounds per ton as a raw material. Currently, that's going to landfill. So, recover that, and you can use it in things like fibre reinforced concrete or filler material or other manufacturing materials. Another technology which we invented was to recover the lead from the old CRT televisions. So this, which is the funnel glass, contains 20% lead. What we do is we chemically dissolve the glass and the lead, we cover the lead as a precipitated powder, and also dissolve the glass, making sodium silicate. Um, this sodium silicate then goes into geopolymer. We have another company called Block Walls. You can find us on blockwalls.co.uk and we currently make 87% recycled geopolymer blocks, which will be 100% recycled geopolymer blocks by 2020. So all these technologies are in and around saving the environment, recovering more value, recovering more materials like plastic, and being very, very eco-friendly. So my name's Jonathan Quinn. Go green for 2018.